from Cape Cod, Massachusetts. We've got Dan Donahue right here hey, how's it in going? the studio. Welcome, glad you're here. And by the way, not to correct you right away, Buzzards Bay, I, I go by. Buzzards Cape Cod, Bay. Buzzards Bay, I represent Buzzards Bay, only Buzzards Bay. So we, being raised in, in Buzzards Bay, Massachusetts, yeah. what, what happens there? I'm not a big city slicker like these Cape Cod folks. All sure. right? We're okay, small town okay. people. No, Buzzards, it's great. Uh, I go back often and I think I should not have chased my dreams. I should have stayed there. What would you be doing if you stayed in Buzzards oh, Bay? Oh, living a good life. Buying a house for like a bag of clams and five dollars, like that's okay. right. Now I live in LA in like a solitary confinement case for like two thousand a month. Not at all like Buzzard Bay, anything there. No. no. Um, I heard that your mom is a bricklayer. Absolutely. And you kind of she's a Cape Cod bricklayer. She's a Cape Cod bricklayer. Yes. What, yeah. Is that rare? Oh, uh, for a uh, mom to be a bricklayer? Uh -huh. No, every woman in Cape Cod actually is, that what they do is a bricklayer. Yeah, that's all they do. Okay. And all, all the men tend house and the women lay brick, yeah. And in all seriousness, your dad ends up, he's a yoga instructor. If your mom's a bricklayer, your dad has to be a yoga teacher. That's a thing. Was that confusing for you? No, not at all. I just kind of had like, my, my dad taught me to be kind and sensitive, mm -hmm. and my mom taught me how to cat call, and that's all you need in life. So the same lessons were coming, just yeah. from unexpected sources. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Uh, you you called your man a, a, a bendy dad? Your yeah, he, bendy he, dad? He's, he was very bendy. He, uh, yeah, well, like, my mom was like a construction worker, right? Mm -hmm. So she didn't want a big, tough guy back at home. She wanted like a little, you know, skanking yoga pants, you okay. know, just get in the out. kitchen, you know what I mean? Yeah. And and he, and he did those things. Uh, he, he taught the acceptance, though, and, and oh, yeah. it was an entertaining household. That so, was a great. So you move out of there, and then you start to do stand-up in Boston and then out yeah. to L.A. Living on couches, a terrible life, going to L.A., still a terrible life. And now on the road is great because I have not stayed in a hotel room that's worse than my apartment. Okay, and so it's always beautiful. an upgrade to be on the road. Oh my! I go into the hotel. It's like, oh my god, a bed without a toilet right next to it. This, <laughs> this is, is beautiful. This is the dream. Five stars for this oh, Best this Western. Motel Six is yeah. amazing. Um, I, I'm glad you love what you do because you, you got to stay on the road apparently under your circumstances. Oh, on yeah. Instagram, you are not bad, Dan. Why, yes. why is that? Oh, just I don't know. I I just picked a name. Everything on the internet is stupid, and I try to go by that motto. So I okay. never think about anything that I post. That's confidence. Yeah, absolutely. Or, or stupidity. But those are the same thing most of the time. Either way, and, and, uh, you have some engaging videos. I was watching some oh, stuff. And you. and you end up, you turn on your camera and you're there. You're, you're kind of washing dishes while you yeah, tell people absolutely. stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Low effort. I like to get two things done at the same time. Yeah. So I was like, and I don't like, you, you ever notice on social media, every video is like someone looking you directly in it's the eye. It's very intense. And their faces are so big and yeah. scary. I don't need, you get my side profile. That If you want to see me, if you want to see the front of the face, come to the comedy zone. Okay, that's that's the selling point right yeah, there. Yeah, um, yeah. On on these videos, you talk about things that maybe you realize now that you are you're just not able to socialize. You're not very good at this, but at the oh. same time, you also don't care like you probably. Well, used yeah, to. I, I've stayed as bad at socializing as I always have. Like yeah. I've all I've never been good at talking to people. You've probably been good at talking to people. Your we whole all life. feel awkward. I've never left a social interaction going like, man, good job, Dan. You, that you, they you nailed me. it. You said all the right. No, I'm always like, oh, my God, I'm going to walk off the bridge you were talking about yeah. earlier. Yeah. That you wanted me to take false a picture. Park. Don't forget the picture. I'm going to walk off the false park bridge. But now, like, I'm getting towards 30, and I realize I am just as bad. But now I walk away from conversations, and I'm like, Oh, yeah, hey, typical Dan, we got that one. Well, it takes the pressure off. Oh, yeah. I see why old people just, like, fart and walk away. You know, like, you get to a certain age where you're just like, eh, hey, socializing's awesome. Yeah, I yeah. don't care too much <laughs> yeah. anymore. Um, you talk about, uh, you know, so that's very liberating for you. And you talk about that you're not a very good speller. Is that... Oh, yeah, I was in special ed for, like, a long, long time. Mm -hmm. And I spell at a first grade level. A teacher told me that. Isn't that offensive? I mean, I, I guess it was your first grade teacher. No, it was like my 12th grade teacher. <laughs> but it, uh, you apparently are able to communicate just fine with words. The oh, spelling yeah. doesn't matter to as you. As long as we don't have to like pass it. Well, that's, that's what's so funny is like my whole life in school, they were like, we need to keep you in a separate class because you can't spell and you have really bad handwriting. And then I got out oh, of high gosh. school and they were like, oh, spelling and handwriting just doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, that, <laughs> I was like, yeah, that matters I could have been regular. I didn't have to be around kids that were biting teachers. Well, now you've found your way, you know, out of all that, onto yeah. the stage, and that's, that's probably where you're most confident. Oh, yeah. Well, kind of. 
Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. I mean, I yeah, I feel more con than like right now. Yes. Yeah. Well, I. There's so much more, and I think people are just going to have to come to the show in order to see your full prep file. Come to file. the show, Give it to yeah. Them. Um, go see Dan Donahue at Greenville Comedy Zone. It's 221 North Main Street in downtown Greenville. Tonight's shows are at 7 and 9 p.m. tomorrow.